Hello guys, in this video we will see how to set up AWS RDS database for MySQL version number 8.0.41. Then we will connect from the MySQL workbench or DB word. First connect to AWS console with your credentials. Then search for RDS. Then click on Aurora on RDS. Then click on DB instances or databases. Either is fine. Click on it. Then click on create database. Then see here we have the two methods. Easy create and standard create. Okay, I am going with standard create. Then select the, see this is Aurora MySQL compatible. Okay, but select the MySQL. Then if you scroll down, see addition is MySQL community and select the engine version. See here we have the versions up to 8.0.41 and 8.4.4. So, so in this video we are going to create the AWS RDS MySQL database instance for 8.0.41. Okay. Then here we have to select the templates like production development or free trial. Free trial. Okay. So it is up to you. Based on this selection, cost will change. Okay. For this demo purpose, I am going with free trial. Okay. But the process is same, but only few options are not available for this free trial. Okay. See, once you selected free trial, these two options are grayed out. Okay, only single AZ DB instance deployment is available. Okay, then provide the DB instance identifier. This is the instance name. So I am giving RDS MySQL 8.0. Then master username, you can provide anything, but it must be between 1 to 16 alpha numeric characters. Okay, so use admin i am fine i am okay with admin remember this one then provide the password for this admin account this fee is required to connect okay so provide this strong password see the password must not contain these letters that's why i am getting errors so confirm the same Okay, now scroll down, then instance configuration. See here, for free trial eligible, only this T3 micro and T4 micro instance types are available. So, I am going with T4 micro and it contains 2 CPUs and 1 gigabytes RAM. 1 gigabytes RAM. Then storage, see you can give the memory. I am going with general purpose SSD only. I am not going to change these two. Additional configuration, I am going, okay. See, for connectivity, do not connect to, it is up to you, if you want to connect from the EC instance also, then you have to select the type of instances, I don't have anything, any EC2 instances, IPv4 network type, then actual private network, see, don't have anything, so it will create the new one, and here, subnet, subnet group also, DB subnet group, it will create new public access, select yes, otherwise you won't be able to connect, security group, I do, see, it, it has selected default one, but if you want to create new one, you can select here. It is up to you. Then availability zones. Remaining options, I am not going to change. And authentication here, see here, password authentication or password and IAM based database authentication or password and Kerberos authentication. I am going with only password authentication. Then monitoring, I am not going to. If you want to enable enhanced monitoring, you can select here. Select all. Then, if you are okay with additional configuration, like if you want to create initial database name, like I'm going to, I want to create this database. This is the, these are the parameters of the groups. DB parameters like enable automatic backup. See, the retention period is one, but we can give up to 35 days. Okay. Backup. I am going to give the backup seven days. Okay. Remaining, I am not going to change anything. If you are okay with all these settings, then click on see I'll review one more time or okay with all the settings then click on create database suggested add-ons for at this moment i don't want any one of these add-ons close see still status is creating refresh wait until status is available or running
click on db identifier see we have this status role etc information is there okay security groups subnets and other information okay we will come to this section later if you want to see the credentials you have to click on view credential details again if you want to go back click on databases click on databases see status is still creating see the message here successfully created database okay this is the identifier name so click on it close this connect if you want to see the connection details click on connection details then copy this endpoint or close this one see here we have the endpoint and this is the default port for the mysql okay so copy this endpoint now open mysql workbench found install mysql workbench on your machine then search for my youtube channel how to install mysql workbench on your system then click on this plus button then connection connection name provide any name i will give any name then here in host name we have to paste that identifier name in the username that is admin even if you have if you have doubt so click on this view connection see user master username is admin then click on this password master password go to here then click on store in vault store in vault paste that password click on okay then click on test connection see fail to connect mysql at this one okay see this is the error that we have received the first step is unable to connect okay so go to here close this one click on this security group then click on security group id then click on edit inbound rules then click on save rules again go to here then click on test connection see we have successfully connected click on okay click on okay again click on this connection see we have successfully connected and we have created this database while creating the aws rds for mysql if you want to create tables just create tables here see we don't have any tables so it is not so we are unable to expand so create a table create table select the query and click on execute now select the query and click on execute now select the query and click on execute see the errors are gone okay even if you right click on refresh see now we are able to expand see here we have the table okay also found to verify the version of the mysql that we have connected select version select the query and click on execute see we have connected to mysql 8.0.41 okay click on db instances suppose if you want to stop just click on select this db identifier and click on stop temporarily if you want to reboot click on reboot if you want to delete permanently you can reboot or see here we have different different options okay and if you want to modify anything just click on modify see we have different options here okay go back to the databases click on it still here also we got the same options see if you are not using click on stop temporarily if you are not using permanently click on delete okay based on usage based on usage charges will be there okay so even we can also connect from the db ever db ever if you want to install dbviewer on your machine then search for my youtube channel how to install dbviewer see this is the dbviewer click on this plus button then select the mysql then click on next then here server host we have to give the this endpoint just you have to click on this plus this button to copy if you are not, if you, but if you forgot the password just click on modify then here we have to provide the new password okay 
now go to here username is admin and i have the database after schools if you want to create some database right click here create schema then provide the database name. select it and click on apply click on apply see database is created click on finish now go to here provide password then you have to click on test connection this is the way to connect not only this you can also connect from the command prompt but you must have the mysql client okay as i told you if you are not using stop or delete it permanently okay so in this video we have seen how to create aws rds for mysql 8.0.41 and connect it to it by using mysql image and db1 for more mysql tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you